Hello everyone, welcome to this creative workshop and in this tutorial what we're going to be doing is looking at creating rolling titles in um, Premiere. Now the new version of Premiere um, which I'm using CC 2019 but actually this was integrated into 2018's version um, uses the new graphics, uh, essential graphics panel to create rolling titles and we're going to have a look at how to do that. Um, it's worth noting that the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I see lots of people tweening their titles which isn't the correct way of doing it so uh, in this one it's so quick and easy in Premiere we're just going to go straight through that and if you find this helpful please subscribe to the channel and support it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the type tool and I'm just going to select it and you'll notice that I'm already in the graphics settings up here so you might be in the editing uh, layout here but I just want to go to the graphics layout and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here and from here I've actually already got some titles that I've just some random names that I'm going to put in there and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get the selection tool and in the align panels down here I can actually align it to the center and I'm actually going to center my text there and I'm going to align it again right to the middle so there it is in the middle so it's all pretty straightforward all I need to do now is just click off here somewhere um, let's just click out, sorry there, and go to roll. And there we have our rolling titles. And actually it's really useful, this now little side scrubber here that can go up and down and we can see the titles that we've got. And one of the useful things about doing rolling titles this way is you can stretch and extend it, unlike the tweening way that some people do it, and that will adjust the speed to do it correctly. Now, one of the things which is also very popular is creating dual rolling titles. And dual rolling titles are done this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, delete this off the timeline there. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a box here, a little text box, and I'm just going to write something into it. So let me get my type tool. And this doesn't matter for the moment. This can be just gibberish for the moment. Okay, so uh, 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 uh. okay, let's put some stuff in there. There, there, there. Okay, and I'm gonna right align that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, copy, uh, create a new sorry text box here, and just put it next to it. And this will be left aligned automatically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type some other text in here and we can just come down here okay so on and so forth I'm not sure I went down that far and you can see here actually I can flick between which titles I want to use and edit and if I just click off now I can go to roll and it'll roll them both so I could have director and the name producer and the name actor and the name and all that sort of good stuff so it's very very simple um, one of the things you can do here as well is you can have some options on your roll so I can start it off screen which is by default the way you hardly ever see rolling titles actually start on screen straight away but if I wanted to I could delete that and it would start on screen as it was when I typed it out and end off screen so you might actually choose to have it not end off screen you might have it choose to end on that on the final credit but you know often you wouldn't do that and you can change the pre-roll the post-roll you can ease it in so it slows down you can ease it out so it slows down at the end but to be honest the setup as it is, is pretty much a good way of doing it. And that's how to do rolling titles in the new versions of Premiere. I hope you found that helpful. And do remember, if you found it helpful, please subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye.